It's ninth race post time. Here they come for Woodbine's ninth. Second elimination of the 2001 Breeders' Crown. Three-year-old pacing fillies. They're off and pacing, watching for Bunny Lake, and she's leaving out of there. John Stark Jr. urging her on to get out of there. Crystal Blue is off stride on a violent-looking break. Cathedral.com is up into the top pair. Northern Accord is crossing in neatly from third. Sand Slickerish is fourth. Prettiest Gal in town is fifth. Electrical Art is sixth away. Castanet Hall left in seventh. Pacific Baroness is eighth. GW Gentle Jessica ninth and moving over into line. Crystal Blue is the gapped-out trailer after the break, and Bunny Lake darted quickly to the front. She leads it a length on Cathedra.com. Northern Accord third. Sand Slickerish is fourth. Pretty Scal in town is fifth. Electrical Arch sixth up to three-eighths completion. Twenty-five and four. Opening split. Bunny Lake pulls the train into the backstretch. They remain single file. In behind this big favorite in her Breeders' Crown elimination. Cathedra.com taking a trip along in second. Northern Accord remains in from third. Sand Slickerish fourth. Prettiest Gal in town is fifth. Electrical Arch trying to flush cover back there in Six Castanet Hall is seventh. GW Gentle Jessica picked up eighth at the inside. Pacific Baroness is ninth. Crystal Blue is out of it. Fifty-five and three was the half. Twenty-nine and four. Second quarter. Bunny Lake Cathedral.com. Northern Accord. Sand Slickers. The top four onto the final turn. And here comes Electrical Art rolling up uncovered into the top five. Prettiest gal in town is along the inside from six. Castanet Hall seventh outside. Then Pacific Baroness at the flank of GW Gentle Jessica and distance Crystal Blue. Bunny Lake, Cathedral.com, Northern Accord into the lane, 124 and 1, three quarter time. Bunny Lake, Cathedral.com has dogged her all the way. Northern Accord along the inside, Sand Slickerish and Electrical Art with Castanet Hall. Bunny Lake, Cathedral.com is tipping out, but isn't going to catch Bunny Lake. Bunny Lake goes gate to wire to win her Breeders' Crown, three year old elimination over Cathedral.com, finishing third on the outside, Sand Slickerish staying for fourth, Northern Accord, one. 51 Bunny Lake. Number nine, Bunny Lake. The winner of the second 2001 Breeders' Crown Elimination, three year old pacing fillies. By Precious Bunny from Lake Nona, owned by the Springtime Racing Stable of Johnstown, New York, trained and driven to victory at Woodbine by John Stark Jr., her 16th win in 18 starts this year. She equaled her life's mark, also equaled the Breeders' Crown record, just missed the Woodbine track record by a fifth of a second. Bunny Lake in 151 in the ninth. Continues for Bunny Lake, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, she's been racing all season long. 51 tonight, just a fifth off the track record. And, John, you were saying before we came on camera that even you're amazed uh, she's been able to stay this sharp. Yeah, actually, she's sharper now than she was uh, when she raced at the Meadowlands. And uh, she, I just, it's hard to believe that the horse that uh, leaves every week and uh, still can come home strong. Uh, do you think the fact uh, that you've been able to stay in New York a lot, racing sire stakes, mixing it up with the Grand Circuit types rather than traveling uh, every week, do you think that's helped her? Well, I think uh, after the Meadowlands, we kept her for the New York sires, and it was less competition. I think that helped her a lot. Let's talk about the fact you mentioned it. Uh, she leaves. Uh, in fact, as you look at her card, nothing but ones on there on top at every call, every race. If the situation dictates next week in the final and you had to race from off the pace, uh, do you, are you confident she can do it? Oh, yeah, she can go either way. She's uh, very handy, but what, uh, what she's so good at to start. She is so quick out of that gate, and, uh, you know, it's just hard not to just step with her because she likes to do it. And uh, what will be her game plan this week uh, leading up to the final? No, not too much. Uh, just like jogging and turning out, that's it. All right. Uh, congratulations here tonight, John. Best of luck next week. Thank you. Bunny Lake, uh, now 16 wins this season and counting, and uh, probable favorite going into next week's final. It's going to wrap it up for Breeders' Crown action.